Hey there everyone, it's Trevor here, back with another Dakless quality review. This is my New Year's resolution to go to the movie theater, my local movie theater, and see every movie that comes out. Uh, today, and just sit in my car and give a quick review of it. That's the other part of it. Uh, so today I went and saw Risen. This is a story about, um, after Jesus Christ is, Jesus is in, Jesus is Entombment, his crucifixion and entombment, and he his body disappears, and uh, basically he's trying. One man tries to find out where he went, and uh, tries to find the body, and so it's it the I think the big tagline if I remember correctly was um, through the eyes of a non-believer. So you're focusing on that and how they basically turn around and start to believe. Now uh, I'm not really a religious person. Um, I'm agnostic, so I'm not really anti-religion or anything, but I don't see a lot of movies, particularly that that's the main focus. I think there are good movies that, uh, can have aspects to it. I'd say Concussion was the last movie I saw that really, uh, got, was emotional and used, it had a great part of religion in that, that was pretty emotional and, and stirring. But this one meets more of what I sort of see as the ones that do focus very much on religion as the entire aspect. And they don't really work for me because I think they're mostly about just affirming what you already believe uh, rather than too much giving an actual good story or anything like that. But there are probably some good ones, really good ones out there. Um, now, that being said, I didn't hate this movie. I I somewhat enjoyed it, but probably for the wrong reasons because... It, it, it really veered into, so, for quite a few moments of, so bad it was good. It had several moments that were just so bad, they were funny and, and sort of enjoyable. Um, I don't know if that, that probably doesn't mean someone, if you are religious, you pro might not like this then, if I found certain aspects, these points funny, because it wasn't so much the themes and the religious part, it was just like the acting, and some of uh, some of that was just bizarre. The direction, I don't know if it's acting or directing in this one. Uh, it felt sort of like it was direction, because um, uh, the main character is Joseph Fiennes, and he play he's very serious the entire time. Um, then you have someone like uh, Tom Felton, is that his last, his last name? Uh, Draco Malfoy, who plays Lucius, which is kind of funny. And he, he, like, he was weird. So he had some serious, some more goofy moments. And his goofy moments were like the other goofy moments where it was just too much. It was over the top and bizarre. And so I think that was, that was what was funny about him. There was this weird, like, they spent some budget on some weird CGI stuff. Um, that just really felt pretty weird. Uh, I, 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 uh. It was just silly. I mean, there were there are decent serious moments, but overall, I don't know if I can say if you're religious, this will work for you. Um, now I'm mostly probably speaking out religious people. I know it might work for them, but I also think this is very. I'm in America, and I think what I generally see is sort of the Americanized version of these events is a bit different and it might be a bit off-putting for some people i mean it's not a it's not a white actor playing jesus it's, it's, it's I, I i actually i think it's the guy from fear the walking dead the main actor i might be wrong uh it was kind of hard to tell with his scruff and his different hair but if it it could be him could be someone different but they look very similar um i also think no, it's probably not that guy actually I'm thinking about. It. It's been a while since I saw that show, so I might just be going off of certain similarities. I think the eyes. Anyway, uh, I think it, that and then like his um, disciples were uh, sort of more the hippie type, which it would be. But it was in a way, it was also, that was part of the, the acting was just really weird because they almost seemed goofy and they almost seemed... Like, sure, you're, like, you're probably supposed to be on these guys' sides and, like, feel like, yeah, they're right and all that stuff, but they s seem just weird and bonkers, and you you didn't, I don't see how someone would be like, yeah, I see that, I, I agree with that for the most part, I don't see, they didn't come off in the most positive light, it felt like, uh, they were trying to do, 
I, I think it was mostly the direction or acting just wasn't very good. More than like the dialogue they were given or the characters they were trying to portray. It was it was more that the acting part. I keep doing this with my face. I do that a lot, I think. But uh, so I think that was a big issue. That I mean, they were definitely hippie types. Uh, they're I they very much seem like stoner types as well because they were like, whoa, where would he go and all that type of stuff. Like, whoa, man, where would he go? I don't know, dude. Why would I know? And this type of stuff of just being like, oh man, and it, it was. It was a little bit funny, um, so I I don't I don't know who can enjoy this. Maybe stoners. Maybe if you're stoned, I don't know. <laughs> Go see if you're high, you might enjoy it. I don't know, but um, it, I mean I slightly enjoyed it just for how just some parts are just so bad. It was enjoyable. Um, I'd say there was one just decent like there was actually okay. This is a good scene. Where it was, um, you know, in sort of a bar, a pub type place, and there's a drunk guy and uh, Joseph Fine's character, and they're they're having an interaction that's that gets kind of serious and it's well acted. I think pretty much there, even though the drunker guy is over the top for a bit. And also, that's another thing. The, uh, the same drunker guy earlier, they're talking and they have oh they have wine. He's like champion. You call each other champion. I don't know if that's is that a thing that would have been said back then or more of a modern calling each other champion when you're not like a champion of any sort of battle just like dude you're a champion man again stoner like and these weren't the actually no they weren't because they weren't really the it's because more of the drunker type because they were uh they weren't the disciples that's it there's basically the stoner type and then the, were the disciples anyone who wasn't was more of just the drunker type except for Ray Fine's character and Tom Felton's character who were just more serious and I didn't understand what was going on with Tom Felton's character. It was kind of weird. But uh, I mean overall it was fine. I slightly enjoyed it for how bad it was. I had rent if you want to see just like a just a weird not not great movie, just a, a movie to laugh at for how bad and not so good it is. Um I'd rent it. I wouldn't go see it in theaters. But um if you're looking for a religious, religious movie and you're a religious person, I don't know if I can recommend it because, as I said, to me, it came across sort of silly and all that. So I don't know how it would come across to someone who is religious. They might enjoy it, but it didn't seem like the disciples, again, would fit what people were looking for based on their acting and how they came across in the movie, to me at least. I could be wrong. Anyway, that's it for that movie. I'm about a bit behind on my normal schedule. I normally try to get them out, these movies out, pretty quick after they come out. But sometimes, you know, you got a big, busy schedule. You can't get them all. So I, uh, next, tomorrow, I'm going to see The Witch with my sister, I believe. So she might be on here. And this next week, I actually don't remember what is coming out this week. So I'm going to look that up. And I will let you know next time. But until then, follow me on Twitter at Daklas. The spelling is in the title of the video. Also, you can follow Geek Wars Podcast on Twitter at Geek Wars Podcast. And guess what? Geek Wars Podcast has a podcast. That's why it's called Geek Wars Podcast. You can find that on iTunes, Podbean, Podcast Addict, anywhere. Any pod catcher, as they call it. Your favorite. And uh, listen, give that a listen. We're going to put up some more stuff here and there. You can watch some more some more of our videos. We do reaction videos for the geeky things and stuff. And uh, that's it, I think. So, until next time. Bye.